We're going to show quickly how we do our sinus therapy today. It helps many people. We've been doing it. I've been doing it for a long, long time. And uh, so what it does, it infl we inflate a balloon right up in the nose. It removes the mucus lining that builds up the bacteria like to feed on. And then we can get those that to slough on out and we can uh, restore normal function and the patient gets better. We've done it with people even with failed sinus surgeries. And it's worked. This is Roy. And Roy, well, you've been a sinus patient for about seven years. How has sinus therapy helped you? Tremendously. When I came in to see the doctor, I I couldn't breathe out of my left nose. Left side. Left side. Yeah. I remember that. And it was probably 25 years before I could take a breath out of there. A breath out of there because of my work. I, I worked as a metal fabricator. A lot of grinding, a lot of, lot of smoke, a lot of dirt, just in general. And the only way I could breathe out of it is I could, I could wet it uh, like at night, but within a couple of breaths, it would, it would go back and I would wake up the next morning with a dry mouth and breathing through my mouth. Today, since I came to see the doc, uh, it took a little while to get through there because it's been so long, but once we got through there, I can right. breathe out both my nostrils. Uh, I'm, I come back every so often just to have it cleared out again. Yep. And that's what we're going to show you today. We're just going to do a small portion of it. We won't bore you with the whole thing, but we'll show you how it's done. Go ahead and stand and up. If you, and if you have trouble with your, if you have trouble with your science, I recommend this to anyone that has trouble with their science. Don't go get your nose broke. Come in and, and let him do something that'll help you. So. Okay. Run your back and we'll lower you down. So Roy and I are old guys, so we always take the easy way down. That's right. <laughs> I think Roy would say, speak for yourself. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, it's rough when you're, you're 20 now. Exactly. Okay. Um, okay. So we put gloves on and we, we, we wear masks just because if I call for sneeze, I don't want to call for sneeze on the patient. And so we take, this is the balloon, it's lubricated with some menthol, uh, mentholatum, and then we go right up. And what we're doing, we're going to let this balloon expand right up into the sinus, open it up, and it's going to get all that trapped mucus and, and, and you'll they'll blow it out or they'll go down the throat. Now Roy's going to be pretty good because we've done him a long time. So. We do that. We set our probe there. No talking or swallowing while the balloon's up the nose. And that's it. When the patient coughs, and I also feel it expand, that's it. And that's how, that's how simple it is. You just expand it, it doesn't hurt. There's a little pressure. We only go to what the patient can tolerate at first, so they start getting used to it. And sometimes they'll blow hunks of bloody stuff, all that mucus right out right there. They'll it'll go down their throat, you know, for a few hours afterwards. And uh, it, we help sinuses and it's just amazing the results we get. Amen.